Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, as you know from the title, of course, I am just going to show you how to do a makeup that is glowy, beautiful, oh, sorry, I hit my mic. Um, just a makeup that is very glowy, very beautiful, eye-catching, but extremely simple and easy. The eye makeup is extremely simple. I have no eyelashes on. No fake eyelashes, of course I have eyelashes on. It's just the makeup I've been using pretty much every day when I have to go to work or be outside or something. It's extremely easy and I just love it. So if you want to see how I get this done, please keep on watching. Now I'm going to put on my primer. The primer I'll be using is this Stila primer. It's the Stay All Day Prime and Anti-Shine Balm. So then I go in like with two fingers and kind of smoothen it all out. And my skin just feels so smooth. I love it. Like it's not, it's kind of a velvety feel, not matte. It's just velvety. It's very nice. I'm going to go in with a bit of the Benefit Professional and I'm going to apply that just over here on the, the sides of my nose where I have more noticeable pores. I really get the smallest amount. It's like, I get about this amount, very minimal. And then I just swipe it like this on my face. Now for my foundation, I'm going to be using the L'Oreal True Match Lumi. I am in the color W5. The only thing I'll say about this foundation is that it is very, very luminous. Like, it gives you a really nice shine. I personally love that because my skin is more like combination to dry. So I don't mind that extra shine. But if you have oily skin, I really don't think it's the best one because it'll kind of enhance the oiliness that your skin has and you might not really enjoy that but regardless of that it's an amazing foundation now for my under eye i'm going to be using the maybelline fit me in the color 10. since right now i am going for like a easy everyday makeup look i'm not going to be applying too much of this concealer usually i would like bring it all the way down to here put my on my forehead my nose my chin and everything but today i'm just going to apply a bit underneath my eyes to make it very light and effortless but still like we put a lot of time into it I'm not putting my concealer too close to my eyes because the skin right underneath your lash line is extremely thin and any excess product is going to either crease or look blotchy or just look cakey and you don't want that. You just What I do is I blend and pick it up and go up every time. I push and go up. Now I'm applying a bit onto my eyes just to cancel any of the darkness or veins I might have showing through. I'm going to be setting this very lightly because I still want my like the dewiness to show. I'm just going to set it super lightly, more heavy like underneath the eyes. There I'll pack the powder on, but on the rest of my face I'm just going to lightly dust it. And I'm going to be using this Kuo it says wet and dry powder foundation. So this is a powder that has a bit of color in it, but since I'm going very lightly in it, it's not gonna really affect the finish of this foundation. Just grabbing like a, a big fluffy brush. I'm just powdering it lightly. Oh no, I forgot something. I've been going with another concealer. This is the Maybelline Fit Me in the number 20, just to put like around my nose and any blemishes I have. Now for the concealer that you're using for what I'm doing right now, you want to go with a color that is the same color as your foundation because you don't want to highlight blemishes or your wrinkles, whatever you're covering. You want to make it fade into your foundation. You could even just go in with an extra layer of foundation on the spot, but I prefer concealer because as the name says, it conceals, it has more coverage. So now I am going to go into powder. 
And as you can see, I'm lightly patting the brush. I'm not putting a whole ton. I'm not going to bake or anything like that. Now, for underneath my eyes, I am going to go in for a higher... Um, like for a better coverage, I'm going to go in with my sponge. I'm just tapping it on the pan and applying it like so. Since my sponge is a little wet, it's going to give me a very, very nice finish. It looks kind of airbrushed or just like so smooth. I love it. Now I'm going to move to bronzer. The bronzer I'm going to be using is this baked body frosting all over face and body glow. That's a long name. Okay, It's just the Baked Bronzer by Laura Geller in the color Tahitian Glow. And this is a bronzer that you look at it here and it could be a highlight. And then you swatch it on your hand. Let me show you. Okay, I don't know if you guys can see that. This is the color of the bronzer. It looks like nothing. It looks like it could be a blush. But, but when you put it on your face, it's completely like another color. It's just like a like a sun-kissed color. I love it. Just make sure you don't put any of the bronzer like here or like in the middle of your face because then it's going to look like blotchy and weird. Now I'm going to contour my face a little bit as well with just like a a fluffy eyeshadow brush and very lightly just go down on the sides of my nose. I'm just giving my nose a bit of definition so it doesn't look like I have no nose. I'm so sorry if I keep like looking in the viewfinder. I'm just not used to this. I just got a new camera which has a viewfinder so bear with me people. Now for my blush I'm going to be using the Milani Baked Blush Baked Powder Brush. Ugh. Milani Baked Powder Blush. I can't say it. A Milani Baked Blush. That's it. And the color Luminoso. I'm going to apply with a blush brush from Morphe. And very lightly, just kind of tap it. I'm tapping it because it does take longer, but I find that the color like blends out nicer than if you just go in like this. Then you have to like take it off sometimes. So this is the technique that works for me and I like it. Now to highlight, I'm going to be using two products. I know two highlighters is a bit extra, but I love highlighters. Even if it's a super like no makeup makeup look, I'm going to put highlighters on because I love highlighters and I'm going to put in those extra two, three minutes to make my highlighter pop. Given that little disclaimer, I'm going to be using two highlighters today. As a base, I'm going to use the Color Paul highlighter in Lunch Money. This is one of their Super Shock Cheek Pearlized highlighters. So I'm just going to grab it with a finger, like coat my finger with it, and then I, I pat it lightly on my face. This is just going to act as a base. You can use this on its own, and it's very beautiful. Like you can see here, it has like a very nice sheen to it but I'm gonna be extra now on top of that I'm gonna go in with this baby it's amazing so this is the Anastasia Berry Hills glow kit in that glow I'm cleaning it a bit before I show it to you okay this should be good so it looks like this for sure everyone here on YouTube has seen it I'm gonna go in with this one this is bubbly and for this, I like to use a, a fan brush and I just, you know, just coat the brush. Just go in on your face. What I like about a fan brush is that you don't even have to blend the highlighter. Like it just, it just sits like, I'll show you. See where I'm putting my, my brush? This is where it sits the most, but then on the edges, it just like, disperses the highlighter like you don't even have to really blend it so I just do like this put a little bit on my temples you see you see I like this I like the extra I know some people hate no highlight but I love it it makes me happy so I'm gonna put highlighter on my nose and a bit here 
and a bit on my head, why not? Okay, the highlighter part was probably like the longest part of my face for this tutorial. The rest, I'm just going super simple. So now that we are up close and personal, um, I'm gonna go super simple on the eyes, like super, super simple, no fake lashes, one or two eyeshadows maybe, but we're gonna make it beautiful. So for my base, I'm gonna use one of these um, Maybelline color tattoos. This is, this is the color Barely Branded. Now for my eyeshadow, I'm gonna be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette. I'm gonna go in with Warm Taupe, this one right here, and just a fluffy, blending brush. I'm gonna put this all over my crease. I am seriously like not being neat at all. That's how simple and easy this look is. Just put the color on <laughs> and blend. For my brow bone highlight, I'm gonna be using Tempera. And just placing it like so. And now for my lip color, I'm gonna be using this color here. Vermeer. It's like a champagne pink color and this is a uh, this is a synthetic brush because i really want to pack the color on and i'm just gonna lightly pat it because i don't want the fallout to go on my face and then after i'm swiping a bit just to get all the color possible in there so i'm just gonna use the warm taupe color in a pencil brush for my waterline Now, all that's left is my inner corner, so from the same palette, I'm going to be using the color Primavera, which is the one down here. Now I'm just going to tight line my, my upper lash line, just so my eyelashes look a bit more fuller. Now I'm going to curl my lashes very, very well. And as well, I go all the way to the tip a little bit. Now for my mascara, I'm going to be using two. This is the Maybelline Colossal Mascara. Like it's so worn out. Like it doesn't even have like a uh, anything on it anymore. But this is my favorite one. I've been using this mascara probably since I was like 17 maybe. So it's been like four or five years. It's really good. I'll tell you that. I don't know. Like the brush is just like the perfect size for me and it really coats my lashes, making them thick at the same time long. So I have the Maybelline and the L'Oreal Voluminous Million Lashes. And I always use waterproof mascara because that's the only one that makes my lashes really hold and like stay up. Because if I don't use a waterproof mascara, they always look amazing when I first apply it, but then they go down. They start going down and they fall and they're just straight. So I don't like that. A trick I like to do when applying my mascara is I look down. Like I put the mirror as down as I possibly can and then I just go in like this. I'm gonna be putting a like skin color liner on my waterline just to open and brighten up my eyes a bit. This is the Maybelline Lasting Drama in Soft Nude. Okay, now to finish everything, I'm just going to put a lip color. I am going to use this Sonia Kashuk lip liner. It's in the color Nude. On top of that, I'm just going to be using a gloss. This is a Laura Geller gloss, color drenched lip gloss in the color Melon Infusion. I always, I always do my eyebrows before doing any of my makeup because the product sticks to my skin better. I find it lasts longer than if I do it over my foundation. But then I go in with the like with the brow gel at the end so because sometimes when you do your the rest of your makeup you get like bronzer or powder or anything on your eyebrows and then if you do this step last it takes everything away and they're nice and dark this is the 
Brow Stylist Plumper by L'Oreal. The medium to dark, so it's just like the brunette shade. This is the end of the makeup. The only thing missing here would be setting spray. And usually I would like bathe my face in setting spray. Like sometimes I finish and it's like wet. But right now I really don't have any purpose of putting setting spray on. I'm not going to go anywhere. So this concludes the video thank you so much for watching if you have anything to say any comments any suggestions please comment it down below don't forget to like this video subscribe please and you can also follow me on my social medias i'll have it linked down below or some place on the screen uh, thank you so much for watching